now let us discuss about how we can simplify boolean expression which is in product of some pos form with the help of a two variable carnap map uh, in product of some product of some means we need to perform product operation and operation on max terms max term means we need to perform or operation on the corresponding variables if you take this example a plus b into a plus b bar here we are performing product operation on max terms max term means we need to perform or operation on the corresponding variables or literals pos form means zero means actual variable whereas one means complement of the variable whereas in sum of product form one means actual variable whereas zero means complement of a variable whereas pos form means reverse zero means actual variable one means complement of the variable uh, here we are solving uh, four examples on the two variable map so if we have two variables then the possible combinations are 00011011 if we have two variables then totally we will have 2 power 2 four cells okay 00 what is 00 here here zero means actual variable one means complement of the variable okay zero zero means a plus b why because here uh, max term what is max term we need to perform or operation on the variables or literals a plus b a plus b is zero zero in decimal notation is zero so this is nothing but m zero max term zero next to zero one means what is zero actual variable a plus one means complement of the variable so a plus b bar zero one in decimal notation is one so this max term is m one here we have to write capital m why because lower case m small m represents min term whereas capital m represents max term likewise 10 means a bar plus b m2 11 means a bar plus b bar m3 uh, if we see this uh, map uh, here we have two variables uh, so totally we will have four combinations left hand side a right hand side b so 0 1 0 so here a is 0 means it is a a is 1 means a bar b is 0 means b b is 1 means b bar so this cell represents 0 0 what is 0 0 a plus b a plus b is nothing but m0 cell this cell represents 0 1 0 1 means a plus b bar that is nothing but max term 1 next this cell represents 1 0 1 0 means a bar plus b m2 1 1 means max term m3 a bar plus b bar let us solve these four examples let us see the first example pi pi means product operation capital m means max terms so pi m of 0 comma 1 so 0 means this cell 1 means this cell in sum of products we have to write 1 for the corresponding min term whereas in product of sum we have to write 0 for the corresponding max term 0 here 0 1 so 0 means this cell so we have to write 0 here 1 means this cell we have to write zero here okay or in the examination we may get question like this simplify the boolean expression a plus b into a plus b bar what is a plus b a plus b is nothing but zero term what is a plus b bar max term 1 so this term so we can form we know that the group will be in the form of powers of 2 so we can form these two cells as a group here b value is changing from 0 to 1 so there is no need to consider b so we have to consider only this one a is 0 a is 0 means we have to take actual variable so here what is the actual variable a is the actual variable <coughs> so here the minimized expression is a so likewise let us see this problem 1 comma 2 pi m of 1 comma 2 so 1 means this cell 1 means this cell we can't form these two cells as a group okay why because these two are not adjacent cells so uh, we can't further simplify this expression so this one will become one group this one will become one group so what is this one 
this one is nothing but uh, this zero what is this zero zero means a so a plus a plus yeah here we have to write zero one here we have to write zero one so this zero this left hand side is a right hand side is b so zero means a whereas what is one one means i'm sorry what is zero what is zero means a whereas what is one b bar so a plus b bar into so likewise this expression is one zero so one zero means a bar plus b so this is nothing but original expression only so we can't further simplify this expression why because we can't make these two cells as one group these two are some diagonal cells okay next let us uh, solve this one uh, pi m of 1 comma 2 comma 3 so we have to simplify this expression so 1 means this cell so 2 means this cell i'm sorry uh, i'm sorry here also i'm sorry so here uh, for max term we have to use zero for max term we have to use zero whereas in sum of products we need to write one but now we are solving problems on pos product of sum so for the corresponding max term we have to write zero in the Carnot map table okay so write zeros here so zero 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 so what we can do now the group will be in the powers of two okay so that means group may contain two power uh, two power zero two power one two power two two power three two power four likewise here if the group contains more number of zeros then it should produce less number of variables or laterals so we can make these two cells as one group as well as we can make these two cells as one group uh, so for this one what is the max term what is the term here a is zero a is zero means zero means actual variable so a into what is the term we have to write i uh, here b value is changing from zero to one so there is no need to consider that one so likewise so for this one for this one what is the corresponding uh, expression so here a is changing from zero to one so there is no need to consider zero a value whereas b value is zero so b value is zero means what is the term b so one two i'm sorry here uh, let, let us assume that the problem is zero one two zero one two so zero means this cell one means this cell whereas two means this cell uh, whereas one two three means uh, second cell third cell fourth cell let, let the problem is this one so the solution is uh, for this pair a is the term whereas for this pair b is the term let us solve the last problem pi m of 0 1 2 3 so we have to write zeros in all the cells zeros in all the cells we can make these four cells as a group why because group is, is in the form of powers of 2 if the group contains four zeros then it should produce less number of uh, literals then the group contains uh, two cells okay so we can make these four cells as one group here a is changing from 0 to 1 as well as b is changing from 0 to 1 so the simplified expression is we have to write this zero only whereas in sum of products if if we have group of four ones then we can write as one but here we have to write zero here why because here the cell contains zero so this is in this way we can simplify boolean expression which is in pos form with the help of two variable Carnot map in the next video we will see about uh, three variable Carnot map for simplification in the pos form